Wyndham Hotels has 9,000 hotels worldwide. Jeff Bellotti is with me. First of all, it's just good to be able to do this. It is. We haven't done this in a long, it's long time. It's very good to face see to face. Four or five times without it. But. First of all, what do you make of the fact that they have lifted the testing requirement? Absolutely, positively thrilled. You mentioned Roger Dow at U.S. Travel. It was U.S. Travel, the American Hotel and Lodging Association, every U.S. Chamber, every association out there, Richard, you've been talking about it being needed. And it happened uh, today, and it'll begin on Sunday night. And what that will mean, what we make of it, is that it will be another five million international inbounds coming into this country in 2022. It will be another up to $10 billion of spending in what is, as we're seeing here in the United States of America, what is a record summer. All right, it's gonna be a record summer, but there's also this inflation problem. There is. And you're seeing it in labor. We're seeing you're it seeing it in materials. in materials, you're seeing it in energy costs for the air conditioning for your hotels and heating in other parts of the world. How are you managing it? What Man do you estimate it's going to be? Well, we're managing it very, very, very well because the demand is actually outpacing the inflation. When you look at what is happening in terms of, as you've been reporting all week long, the demand, it's well above inflation. The industry is having a record, record year right now in terms of average daily rate. So what are you going to do? Your costs are going up. Right. How much of that are you going to pass on? Well, the costs are going up, but in real dollars, they're still behind where they were in 2019. We are doing everything we possibly can with our owners to actually lower costs of the hotel so that the, the costs are, are affordable. And when you look at the demand that's out there, when you look at, as you've been reporting, the savings that are out there in consumers' bank accounts right now, and the $3 billion of unspent <laughs> Sorry, travel I don't know what, vacation. I don't know what, obviously some people are getting happy. I think uh, they're waving at you. Oh, look, Richard, someone is coming oh. down. I, I hear you've done this before. Oh, good Lord. It's, it's, it's behind us. It it's is behind us. Yeah, it, it's yes. behind you. You can't see, but up there, <laughs> they're, they're doing the edge, the lean, and um, whatever. Haven't you done that? I did, and yeah. we're going to show it at the end yeah. of the program. <laughs> so, so are you able, do you have pricing pressure to be able to raise prices, or is the competitive uh, situation so bad so, no, so hard. there is absolutely enough ability to continue based on the demand that we're seeing across the country this was the busiest Memorial Day weekend that the industry's ever seen we talked about it this time last year on your show that last year's Memorial Day weekend was a good 10% over Memorial Day before COVID hit this year was 15% over last year so 25% more demand that's out there there is absolutely the, the ability to continue for our small business owners, our hotels, to, to cover those inflationary costs. So now what do you do with Wyndham? Where do you grow? I mean, Asia is, uh, Asia is still a real problem. But it's been growing. It grew double digits in the first quarter despite that problem. It's, You're an optimist. It, I am the eternal optimist. It was thrilling to see the, uh, the, the, the bounce uh, uh, you know, throughout uh, the last just a uh, few days of optimism over there with both Beijing and Shanghai being lifted. But uh, no, we continue to invest in technology. One of the things we're most excited about, you've been asking your guests all week long, is where are you going on a summer holiday? Where are you going on a summer holiday this year? Do you know yet? <laughs> I do actually. I've got a month long, long service leave. So I'm going to learn French ah, in France. Certainement, j'imagine oh. que tu parles beaucoup mieux le français que moi. Oh, no, no, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, quatre filles qui parlent mieux que moi. Canadian. 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 The only, the no, only but no are you driving or are you flying? Where? To France. On your vacation in France. I'm going to be... In a car. Maybe, yes. Yes, and there you go. And that's the type of demand that's out here right now. We're working very hard to send people on vacation. We think we have the number one booking app out there. And we have just launched our road trip planner and all of these people here. I but guarantee five, you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not letting you get away with this. I'm not letting you get away with this. <laughs> Even optimistically. They may be driving. They're driving. But more than flying. But gas at five dollars a gallon or will be. Absolutely that takes its chunk. Absolutely positively based on what you've been reporting all week, not slowing it down. I mean Yet, this, yet, this, yet. No. Based on what's out there in terms of demand, untapped demand, and 30%, think about the number of unused vacation days that Americans have been unable to take in 2020 and 2021. U.S. Travel, Roger Dow also estimates that 
of our nation's consumers did not take a vacation day. And those unused vacation days will be taken this summer and we think well into 2023. So finally, well, first of all, where are you going? Where am I going? I'm, I'm going to get in a car right now and drive up to Cape Cod. On a Friday on night? A Friday are night. you mad? But, but you've, been, you report, mad? you've been reporting as well on why people are working remote, and that's a big, big trend as but well. But Friday night? I don't think the packed. traffic will be that bad. Waze is saying three and a half hours. I could pull it out. It's been a while don't since I pulled it out. <laughs> It'll be fine. If, he, if you get to Cape Cod from Manhattan in three and a half hours. I'll call you. I'll eat my hat. <laughs> but I'll be on my way to Lisbon tonight because I'm filming. Good to see you, sir.